Okay, here we go. Guide grids. I'm going to start off by creating some new sheets with a little trick. There's lots of ways to do this. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to use this right click copy to clipboard option. It's not documented, at least I don't think it is. Now, if I use Control V after clicking in the drawing area, I can make six new sheets or however many really fast. If I rename the numbers of the sheets first, then it'll pick up on that next sequence. So I can start with A101, A200s, A300s very easily. Now, I'm going to grab a sheet, uh, grab a view, and put it on a sheet. Then I'm going to spend a few seconds here and fuss over the fact that I don't have grids to work with. So I'm going to use the architectural ribbon and sketch a couple grids, grid one, and then a grid A. And yes, I'm going to fuss over grid A. I want it to say A. Come on. <laughs> Ah, oh, capital A. All right, now, finally, ready for a guide grid. So I'm going to deactivate the view. And we're going to go to the view ribbon. So up on the view ribbon, I'm going to click on the guide grid tool, which brings up a new dialog in 2013, gives me a chance to give it a name and or choose an existing one. In the past, I just had to create a new one. That was a little frustrating. Now, I'm going to do something a little unexpected. I'm going to make the grid large. And my goal here is to get to as few intersections as possible. My goal is one. I have a hard enough time remembering which grid intersection I picked with one, let alone if I have six or seven visible. Cutting it down to one means I can move it where it needs to go, and I've only got to worry about seeing one place on screen. Kind of like the people using lines or something on their title blocks to find a common mark. The goal here is to move this little guide grid into where I think it should go, and you'll notice it won't get any smaller after a point. That's about as small a square as it'll let me make. Trying to drag those grips didn't do any good. Now, if I take the viewport and move the viewport using the grid intersection in the viewport to the grid intersection of the guide grid, now I have one view in its correct place. Open another sheet, turn on its guide grid and properties palette. Now, I could use the guide grid tool to place the second grid just calling on the other grid or the existing grid place it on a sheet randomly while it's still selected I can use move grab the intersection of the grids move it to the guide grid intersection and there's sheet 2 do it one more time for uh, sake of repetition assign some overall plans there's the intersection grab the view place the view grab the move tool grab the intersection, grab the intersection and there you have it not too hard pretty reasonably uh, successful just maybe a little bit laborious hope it helps